Okay. Um, I'd like to call the order of this meeting of the Stockbridge Planning Board on March 1st, 2022. Welcome, everybody. Um, the agenda starts with uh, the approval of the last, the minutes of the last meeting. Can I have a motion to approve those minutes? So moved. Is there a second? Second. Second. Is there any uh, discussion, please? Hearing none, uh, Jennifer, would you call the roll, please? Murray? Um, aye. <laughs> Bill? Aye. Gary? Aye. Nancy? Aye. Kate? Aye. I think that's it. Uh, yeah, I don't okay. see. Okay, we're good. Okay, thank you. Um, the next item is the uh, special permit application for the property at 8 Hawthorne Road. And in the clerk's absence, Marie Raftery is going to read the uh, public notice, please. Town of Stockbridge Planning Board Special Permit Hearing. Notice is hereby given that the Stockbridge Planning Board, acting as a special permit granting authority, is scheduling a public hearing at Stockbridge Town offices and via remote for 6.30 p.m. on Tuesday, March 1st, 2022. To consider the application of the Peanut Gallery LLC at 8 Hawthorne Road to construct a new single family dwelling under section 6.5 of the Stockbridge Zoning Bylaws. The complete application and plans are on file in the Planning Board office and town offices. Thank you, Marie. Um, Elizabeth, I think uh, you want to say something? Yes, please. Hi, um, I'm Elizabeth Goodman. I'm the attorney for uh, the owners of 8 Hawthorne Road in Stockbridge, um, known as um, Daniel and Becky Pincus through their um, company. And uh, their um, engineering um, consultant is away from town right now, he's out of the state. And uh, so we've asked for a continuance of this whole hearing um, till your next regularly scheduled meeting, which I believe is March, is the second Tuesday, March 15th. Okay, uh, the request has been made for a continuance. Is there any discussion before we vote on this? Hearing we none. motion that we, um continue the hearing um, for, uh, what's the name of the company? The Peanut Gallery like LLC. Until March 15th, 8 Hawthorne Road. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? Is there any way that the documents can be made available on the web? Who asked that? Peter Strauss. I'm a neighbor. Yeah, if, um, if you send me an email, I can email them to you. Okay, thank you. And could I have your email address, please? Sure, it's, um, uh, let's see, <laughs> J Carmichael, C-A-R-M-I-C-H-A-E-L. J-E-N-N-Y? Nope, just J. Oh, J, period or no period? No period. <laughs> then C A R. M I C H A E L. At? At Stockbridge. Dash M A dot G O V. J Carmichael, no, no period, at Stockbridge dash M A dot G O V. That's right. Thank you very much. Could I, I'm Ruth Friendly, also a neighbor. Could I, could you also send it to me? Sure. Yep, just send me an email. All right. Or call. <laughs> Pick up the phone. Um, okay, any other questions, comments from anybody? It's um, been moved. In. Go ahead, Kate. Uh, Jennifer, you might want to post the packet to the um, to the agenda for the you know when you post the 
the other materials for the next meeting. You might want to include, include the application. Okay. So it's been moved and seconded to uh, continue the uh, public hearing, special permit public hearing until March 15th. If there are no further discussions or comments, questions, Jennifer, would you call the roll, please? Sure, Marie? Aye. Bill? Aye. Jerry? Aye. Nancy? Aye. Kate? Aye. Okay, we're all set. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. See you on the 15th. Thank you. Okay, racing through the agenda, we come <laughs> to um, uh, the ongoing discussion we've been having about um, the cottage era state bylaw as it relates to um, the zoning bylaw on cluster subdivisions and the subdivision regulation um, as mentioned in the agenda. Um, can I just quickly ask a question? I noticed the subdivision regulations were approved more than 40 years ago. Does that explain why they are not part of the zoning bylaws? They're a state. It's a state law. And so, have so the town, any town has no, no ability to make any changes. No, but there are waivers that if people apply right. for a subdivision, there are waivers that they can go into. Right. It. But no, everything stays the same. It's a state thing. Okay. It's just, I'm just uh, kind of curious why, even though there's their state, their state language, um, we wouldn't incorporate them in either the towns or the uh, planning boards bylaws. Zoning, no. We don't do that. Are there other such regulations that uh, routinely would be subject to planning board involvement that are not in either our bylaws or the the town's bylaws? Not that I know of, yeah. right off hand. Okay. It's just a yeah. sort of administrative um, uh, question. I think the the uh, the reason for these reviews um, and, and this discussion is to um, see if the cottage era state bylaw is different enough, it seems to me, others can chime in, uh, from these two uh, uh, subdivision and cluster um, uh, papers, the, the cluster subdivision bylaw and the subdivision regulations. Um, and obviously, um, one difference, and I know this will prompt some discussion, is that the Cottage Era State Bylaw, as it currently exists, is requires a special permit. And I do not see, or I did not see, special permit language in the other two documents. Um, uh, there, there are approvals, there's reference in many places to approvals, not just of this body, the planning board, but also the CONCOM and the uh, uh, Board of Health. Um, but I didn't see a reference uh, in either of the other documents to um, special permit approvals. Does anybody want to comment on that or have other comments about this topic uh, generally? As okay, we subdivision um, regulations. The only time that we would, they would come with a special permit if they want like a waiver from from the uh, sub, subdivision regulations. State ones or town ones? No, just the subdivision regulations. Right, please. That's the, oh, yeah. Okay. So does that mean that a subdivision can be put in without well, Aaron, speak up because, that because I think that's the relevant one of that's the relevant what you're questions. Saying. What were you saying, Marie? No, I said is, is that that it means that um, a subdivision can be put in without a special permit. Is that what you're 
I say. think that's what. Yeah, if it meets, it's, if it's it a by right thing. Right? Yeah, it's a by right. Yeah. Right. Um. So, if, yeah, I I understand it a little bit differently. And, um, if you look at, can you hear me? Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. If you look at um, section four point two zero six, and maybe the easiest thing is if I share that share that section out. Hold on a second. Um, can you see that? Yes. It says in reviewing and determining whether to approve, approve with modifications or deny a definitive plan, the planning board may consider whether the definitive plan is in conformance with the design standards in section five of these regulations. And then it goes on. And before that, um, you know, it describes a public hearing. So. Right. Right. While, mm -hmm. while I don't, you know, while I don't actually see the word special permit, um, I do see a review process that includes a public hearing with a review and decision. Yeah, it does. And it includes, um, uh, I think, the public hearing and any and the preliminary application, at least. Um, or preliminary approach to the planning board needs to go to the uh, CONCOM and the Board of Health as well. Um, but again, um, the approvals, the approval language, I think is a little vague. Uh, and, you know, I'm no lawyer and uh, I haven't talked to, to town council about this, but um, you know, it, it's always been my understanding that subdivision approvals were by right and uh, and not by special permit. I, I, I acknowledge that there's language in here about uh, public hearings and, and preliminary review of plans and final review of plans and all the technical stuff, but um, it still seems to me there's a an, there's a uh, question around, or maybe there isn't a question around the fact that th these these uh, regulations and the zoning and the uh, cluster subdivision reg uh, bylaw don't call for special permit approval, which has its own particular meaning and and requirements, right? Bill, can yes. I? Marie. Um, Kate, could I ask you to put up um, 4.2.10? That may help. That says certificate of approval. I mean, that may help answer your question. Um, it's like the next page after what you just had. So right here? I have 4.2 or 10. 4.2. 210, 4.210. Certificate oh. of approval. And it's under certificate of approval. Oops. After a hearing required section 4.205 and after the report of any other boards or commissions or the lapse of 45 days without it, the planning board shall approve or if such plan does not comply with the subdivision control law or the rules and regulations of the planning board or the recommendations of the board of health shall modify and approve or disapprove the plan. If the planning board modifies or disapproves such a plan, it shall state in its vote reasons for this action. The action of the planning board in respect of such plan shall be by vote and noted on form G, certificate of approval, copies which, you know, certified da 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 da. Final approval if granted shall be endorsed on the original drawing of the definitive plan by the signatures of the majority of the planning board. So you got to at least approve the, yeah. the plan, whether that's considered a special permit. Approval of the definitive plan does not constitute laying out the accept. Approval of the definitive plan does not constitute the laying out or acceptance by the town of, oh, of streets. Okay. Right. I'm sorry, Kate, go ahead. No, no, no. That's all right. Um, Bill, I, you know, it might be worth, um, I'd recommend checking with 
town council to find out what the distinction is. Yeah, yeah, I will do that. Um, it's as as you as you say, Kate and and uh, Marie. These these pieces of uh, these regulations and bylaws have, are riddled with the word approval. Yeah, <laughs> but not with special permit. Special and, permit. Um, and uh, what's the difference? That's what you're asking. So That's I'm going to ask. Yeah. So I'm well. I'm guessing that, but yeah. I, I would check with town council. Yeah, I mean, to uh, those of you who've been around longer than I have, um, when was the last subdivision approved? The Dunkway. The, the yeah. Stone Ridge or yeah. Stone, that was it. Yeah. And Gary, what year was that? Oh, um, I, I just don't remember. Um, it was a long oh, time ago, though. Sorry. Is it like in 13? Yeah, I think it was in the early, well, early, early 2000s, I think, right? I think, let's see, I went on the board in 2012 and it was right before I went on the board, I think. Yeah, so it was probably about, because this lasted, this subdivision lasted a long time to, uh, to get approved because um, it, it really was a, a legal fight and um, yeah. I think it was probably, I would say maybe even 2011, even maybe, because we were in court a lot. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think, you know, the important thing to me was um, in reading through it, I don't remember where I kept, he I've heard it several times. People refer to it as a buy right, but it really is not as I read it. Uh, I think <laughs> yeah, I think that's, that's, that's a funny it's, it's, it's a uh, phrase that maybe needs further definition and it's yeah. another question yeah. for Donna what it, what actually does by right mean and how do we how has it come to ref, to be used in connection with sub properly or improperly yeah. with the subdivision regulations I mean by right only means that if they meet all the requirements that are set forward that they can go forward. But in between that, there's a lot of negotiations and yeah. uh, discussions, you know? But isn't, can't you say the same thing about a special permit? Sure. If they meet this, yeah. the requirements uh, that are stipulated here. Under it's just that I think a, a special permit gives you, gives the town an awful lot more uh, yeah. anyway. power. More, you know, more, uh, there's control. More, there's more. there's more. My under what I was going to 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 venture um, was that we perhaps would hear from town council that with a special permit, the board has much more discretionary input and control than with subdivision. But I I think it would I'd be interested to hear their comment. I mean um, I've just shared out section three point two plan belief to not require approval, and that is specifically the wording that addresses, you know, when we get the four A's, um, right. that is, is specifically um, approval not required. And here they lay it out and they describe those situations under which you do not need subdivision approval. Right. Right. But you still need approval. But you still need approval. You still need to, yeah, you still need not to- a, Not a special permit. Yeah. Right. Okay. And the interesting thing to me was, you know, with these approvals not required, is that we never see the same engineers come before the board for the four Mays. And that's because it's very specifically um, written that you have to have um, a site plan by a certified, um, um, by a surveyor you know, with a, with a state license and seal, and the plan has to be stamped with their seal. And, and you're saying that in an ANR, in, in, in an approval not required, that's not part of the no, process? In an yeah. approval not required, in a Form A, they have to have, they have to present the board with a site plan by a licensed um, surveyor. That's what I thought. That's what we've always seen. Have, have right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 
And the, I think on the special permits that we handle in the LPOD, it's it's not quite, I have to look at the wording again, but I think it's not quite as clear. Yeah. So, I mean, to me, I would think that, I mean, this is an aside that with the LPOD, it would be really, you know, with such tiny lots often, um, it would be equally important to have an actually, you know, a stamped certified site plan, but we don't always get those. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, I will, I will talk with Donna, um, this week and, um, to the extent I can share with you without uh, creating a uh, deliberation, um, her, her thoughts, uh, I'll try, I'll ask her to put them in writing. Um, I will do so. Uh, and, and we can, we can continue this discussion um, at our next meeting. Does that make sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. Since we've, we're down two people, it seems like we should continue it. Yeah. Um, is there any other business? Any other points? Separate from this. Separate yeah. from or, or the, relating yeah. to this. Yeah, I just I just wanted to say something. Sure. Um, I watched the CONCOM meetings, you know, um, and they have been working on redoing their performance standards, yeah. and they've been working on that for several weeks now, and they're they're trying to you know get them up to snuff. So they decided to use our LPOD language huh. um, in their performance standards so that we'll all be oh, on the okay. same page and doing something. So they wanted me to, because I was on Zoom, they saw I was on Zoom. Yeah. So they wanted me to um, relay that to you guys that um, and, and maybe kind of work with them. So our languages are similar as they approve, you know, the same things that we have to, the same parcels we have to approve. Um, so I think it would be, they didn't say, you know, let's to get together and talk about it, but I think that it would be good for us to have the same kind of language, you know, approving the same kind of things. Yeah. You know, this may be a heresy, but I, I read about that. I saw the, oh, okay. and, uh, and your, the, the request that you pursue this, uh, thank you for doing that. Um, it raises in my mind again the question of why don't we give LPOD responsibility to the CONCOM? Why, why, does this, why does this a planning board matter? When did it become a planning board matter, Gary? Do you remember? There must be a reason. It was always there when I started. So. Planning board. But it, it, is, it is definitely intended to be a conservation um, bylaw. Yeah. But, that's um, that, that's I mean, sort of my point. It's kind of like the stormwater thing that really was more theirs than yeah, ours. Yeah. That's a good point. Yeah, I, I mean, I hadn't really thought about it. But. I'm not, uh, I'm not trying to create work for lawyers um, or or anybody else, but I just think the logic of and it's it was, I was reminded of it in in the context of this the point you just made that they're trying to conform. Yeah their language to ours on the LPOD and when I and I thought, well, why do they need to conform their language to ours? Why don't they just take it over? Why, why don't they become responsible for LPOD applications? Um, How do you go about doing that? Who makes that decision? Oh, well, it would have to be, uh, you know, it'd we would ask the select board. And the, ask same the, way, the same way we did the storm, the storm. Yeah, yeah we would just say that, you know, float the idea that it's it's really more in their bailiwick than ours. Yeah. And uh, we would, you know. Yeah, they need to also. Would, would it have to come, before, <laughs> yeah, would it come before town meeting? Yeah, they'd have to vote yeah. to change it. Yeah. Um, although I, I can't imagine it would be a controversial uh, issue for town meeting, um, unless I'm missing some political they're angle also, here. Yeah, they're also pursuing um, getting a conservation Consult, uh, what's the agent? agent. 
agent, they're looking into that mm -hmm. as well. Okay. And we talked about that at one point and saying, could we share it yeah. to look at the stuff mm -hmm. we do? That's when we were talking about the bylaw where we were talking about conservation and, and um, ecology and all and, that. And you know, a year ago or more, two years ago, we were talking about joint site visits mm -hmm. uh, because we were always going to the same, not always, well, but often to going that. to the same um, properties. But then we got into the fact that you couldn't talk. That, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it doesn't yeah. really serve a purpose. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's, it's kind of redundant. Um, so I think we talked about this before. Yeah. About yeah. questioning why. I mean, maybe I should talk to Donna about this too, and then to. Uh, yeah, just ask her what her thoughts are on, yeah. on if we were to think about giving the LPOD. Uh, to the conservation, just like we did with the stormwater. Yeah, would Ron Broker have any say in it? Well, I think we, well, certainly we would ask him. You know, uh, yeah, I mean, what is, you know, right in the very beginning stages of talking about it. Yeah. With stormwater, um, when we when we started talking about that, um, Ray Miari's reaction was, well, you know, usually boards don't want to give up authority, um, but I just really, after observing it for a while, I just wondered why it had been put with Conservation Commission in the first place. And then I talked to, um, I think I talked to John Hart, and I don't remember who else. Um, they agreed that it would be a good fit for the Conservation Commission. And when did that happen, Kate? Um, that was about two years ago, I think. Yeah, two, I think okay, two years that ago, yeah. Okay. Hey, can you stop screen share so we can? Oh yeah, I'm sorry, sure thing. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Nobody, everybody else left the house. Okay. <laughs> oh well. We've cleared, we've cleared the room. I see you got an extra table, thank you. I, there's room for me now. <laughs> You're always welcome. Lots of room. Um, thanks for raising that, uh, Marie. That was yeah, really that's good. a great idea. I, I yes. will pursue this with Donna. And, um, yeah, I mean, I think it's good to work with the CONCOM. I think we have the same yeah. interests. I, you know, I think it's it's good to. Yeah. I mean, I generally go to their meetings just for that reason yeah. because we said we were going to send a rep. You yeah, know, to to, to that. So good I just kind of. Tuesday's kind of my meeting night. <laughs> so yeah. I go to the CONCOM yeah. if I'm not at the planning board. Now's a good time if we're going to bring it before town meeting. Yeah, yeah. Oh. There may be time to craft uh, the proper language to do it yeah. if, if everybody agrees. Okay. Yeah, I think if we floated the idea to Mike and the select board and, and to the CONCOM what, and just get their reactions. Right. You know? Yeah. I mean, yep. I will say that uh, the uh, LPOD requests. Um, when they're done properly, they are, they take some time to review. I mean, when I go uh, over things, it takes me about, you know, two or three hours. And then there's questions that um, come up and so on. So I think it's important to convey to the Conservation Commission that uh, they are somewhat involved. Yeah. Okay. Is there any other business? Um, there was one one thing that I wanted to to ask about getting on the agenda. Um, I had some I had an idea about how we might uh, make the sign requests um, flow a little bit better, and I'm wondering if if we could put that on the agenda for the next meeting, if it's not already too uh, too busy. Not sure what's on next week's or the next meeting. We know that there's yeah, two uh, four mays and a special permit. Okay, so oh, that's then, fairly, not next week. fairly busy. Yeah, that's too much. Maybe the, the meeting following that? Yeah. Okay, will you so note that, uh, Jennifer? Yeah, to put the sign request on. It's just yeah, an idea. the first meeting in March, uh, in uh, April. April. Yeah, it's, it's just an idea I had to um, sort of clear up some of the confusion and, and with the hopes that those, those will sort of flow a little bit more, more quickly. You know, uh, that's fine, but is this something that uh, we can ask uh, Mike and our our town planner to? It's to... really simple, you know. It's really simple. I did up a little flow chart, and you know, I can share that out. Or oh, okay, if I can... all right. Yeah, you've done the work. We'd be happy I to see it. 
I've done the work and I just thought, you know, hey, I should run this by the planning board members and see if, you know, see if there's any interest or there's any input. Um, yeah, I think anything to streamline uh, or clarify that process, which every time we see a sign, we get bogged down in some- Something. <laughs> um, yes. It would be good. So thank you for that. Okay, can I have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. Um, all in favor, say aye. 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 Thank you all. Thank, Thank you. you.